Hi, my name is Isabella, and I've been conducting research on the Portuguese migration to France. In this video, I'll guide you through the story behind this migration. During the 1960s and the 1970s, Portugal experienced a significant wave of migration to France, with nearly 10% of its population relocating there. It became the largest foreign community in France at the time. But why did the Portuguese have to leave? Well, essentially, they were fleeing war, dictatorship and poverty. At this time, the nation was under the Salazaristic dictatorial regime, a regime that maintained strict control over the nation. It was known for persecuting opposing political ideologies and creating a censorship system for the press, books and other information that was passed on to society. It idealized a simple rural lifestyle and feared the advancement of modern economics. Education wasn't seen as a priority and it was even mainly limited to privileged elites, while lower classes couldn't afford to sacrifice their children's work or salary. On top of that, while other countries were starting to let go of their colonies in Africa, Portugal was holding on tightly to theirs, which led to a long and difficult conflict known as the Colonial War. With the war, young men over the age of 16 were banned from leaving the country, so they began fleeing the country illegally, en route to France. But why France? Well, France, in contrast, offered economic prosperity and stability. After World War II, the country was undergoing reconstruction, so it required an unqualified labor force for heavy industries and public works. So it began importing foreign workers in large numbers. This meant that for many Portuguese, France was a promise of jobs, a chance to escape hardship and envision a future for their families. As we look back, let's embrace the lessons from the past and stand united against dictatorial regimes. With this video, I really hope to highlight the need to be compassionate and accepting of immigrants who have endured significant challenges to get to where they are. Let's remember that we need them as much as they need us.